it's just about go time. This might be a bit presumptuous. Greetings, Grapple fans. This is your director of fun, Mike Quackenbush, back with a special offering this free Match Monday. Did you know our subscription service, Chakaratopia, contains the exclusive program, Hour of Power? Indeed it does. And the first ever Hour of Power live stream featured this fabulous bout between Frightmare and Fire Ant. And is your main event of the afternoon. To my right, wrestling's hottest property, Fire <laughs> And to my left, the spear of Nazmaldu, about to get underway, join the dialogue online at hashtag Hour of Power with your combatant experience watching us on Chikorotopia, the video. Schoolboy, hour of power, time remaining. Fire Ant taking that quite literally, looking to put this one away quick. Not getting paid by the hour of power today, Mike. Mm -mm. Fire Ant had the advantage for a backslide, but in that back to back position, neither guy could make it work. Atlantis clutch into the mousetrap. <laughs> what a great pinning combination. 2.9 from Travis and Fire Ant, even questioning that. He thought that might have been three. I want to say hello to Jeff Stormer watching from West Philly, the son of Mecca Mummy from Seattle, Washington. Uh, Deltona, Florida, hi there to you as well, watching on your, your Roku player streaming stack and our friend in, in Ireland, I believe. I'm trying to find your name, but yes, uh, uh, Rickety Cricket watching from Ireland. Hello, thank you for joining us. Tell all your friends. Oh, Bryce, look at this. Frightmare revving up a head full of steam. He came right out with a great tope con hilo. Took out some of the support staff as well, and Fire Ant Sport. Spoiler indeed in a great spot to take out Fire Ant and as you said, knock him back to zero. Is Fire Ant's mission, his goal today to make sure Fire Ant doesn't even get a grand championship title shot. I mean, it, you were there, you were back in Glasgow, Scotland, Fire, Frightmare, arguably the difference maker enabling Hollowicket to become the grand champion for the second time. i tell you what, one of the most feared weapons in the arsenal of Nas Maldun is Frightmare. Fire Ant gamely fires back, an open-handed strike out there on the floor, while Travis, last name unnecessary, registers the count. Oh! Ooh. Suplex on the unforgiving floor of the Wrestle Factory. Just a sickening thud, and that right there, that could be the difference maker. That could be enough for Frightmare just to cruise to a count-out victory here at the Hour of Power. Well, that would do the same as pinning Fire Ant, making him submit, where Fire Ant were to be disqualified in all these scenarios. He loses his points. He's got to go back to square one, and that's exactly what Hollow Wicked, exactly what Frightmare wants. Believe it or not, I could be wrong. My, my Chikara historian cap on for a second. Fire it and Frightmare. Not to my recollection, a straight up singles match in a Chikara ring. Wow. Like. Of course, obviously, tag team matches, trios matches countless times, but never in a straight-up singles match. He might be trying to take, take the mask off of Fire Ant there. Well, that would not be a wise move, because under our system of rules, Frightmare would be disqualified for an illegal unmasking of an opponent. Now, I think he's really got to start to wear Fire Ant down, slow him down a little bit. Both these guys, known for their speed game, both these guys are amazing high flyers. They are not afraid of the aerial game whatsoever. Frightmare here, really, you can see, just staring a hole through the official. Yes, give tra uh, Travis last name unnecessary, specific instruction. You know how hard it is to send him mail? You know how hard it is to send him mail? Very no good. idea. Look at this. Standing boon salt press finds the mark. Oh, he had him. Great looking pinning combination there, Bryce. He had both legs. Not enough to put down the tenacity of Fire Ant. And now across the throat, he's got that knee in the back. Fire Ant, relentless offense here. Not concerned about the rules, just looking to take Fire Ant down, fighting back. Fire Ant with a forearm down the face of Frightmare. Fires in a knife edge chop. 
Here come the forearms in response from Frightmare. He's going to send him corner to corner. Oh, he went right underneath. Look at Fire Ant. He's so nimble. Oh, but that drop kick really scored, Bryce. Both feet full impact right in the chest. That'll drive the wind out of your lungs. Jackknife roll. Not enough weight to keep the shoulders down here. Frightmare is going to continue to pour it on if he wants to stop Fire Ant from picking up the elusive third point. Efforts into his back now. You see Frightmare there. Very pointed. The point of his elbow right between the shoulder blades. Fire trying to roll away, but not far enough to get away. Took him right in the top to the buckle. You might see at least Ophidian. Very fitting. You know, it was Ophidian who had a grand championship title match and lost his points to Fire in the round tour of the United Kingdom last month. Now it's Fire Ant's opportunity to lose that title shot. He's got to get past Frightmare. And at this juncture, I don't like his odds. Fire Ant is really in trouble here, guys. That's right. It was on that UK tour that Fire Ant acquired the two points he has, defeating the Hermit Crab in Birmingham and defeating Ophidian, as you mentioned, in the North Shields just a few short weeks ago. Now looking for that third one. And Frightmare doing all he can, every weapon in his arsenal at his disposal to make sure that Fire Ant does not leave the hour of power with a championship opportunity. We're going to set him up here. Off the ropes he goes. Fire Ant comes right back. Oh, boy. Cabra Dora, the Mexican 360 backbreaker. Fire Ant. Barely able to kick out of that one. Frightmare getting a little bit frustrated. We knew they were the competitor, the caliber of Fire Ant. You can't leave anything in the back. You gotta put it all on stage if you have any hopes of beating somebody as talented as the hot property. Pouring it on all the way across the hypotenuse of the ring. Just crumbles. No, I spoke too soon. Fire Ant feeding off the energy of the Wrestle Factory faithful this afternoon. Oh, peppering him with those forearms in the corner. Pitbull, Frightmare, just relentless. He took that turnbuckle, but he's not done yet. There's still gas in the proverbial tank of Fire Ant. He fires back with each and every strike that Frightmare offers. Crowd making no mistake as to who they're rooting for. It'll take more than cheers, though, for Fire to be able to put away Frightmare. He's really stunning him here, Bryce. Stringing the strikes together. High kick, no. Frightmare evades. Jumping in. Zagiri, the back brain kick finds the mark. Fire Ant is stunned. Here comes Frightmare, a hit from Steve. Oh, you've got low bridge by Fire Ant and goes tumbling out of the floor of the Wrestle Factory. That is not a safe space as we saw early. Fire Ant looking to maybe take a page out of Frightmare's book. Head of steam across the ring. Woo! Boom! Terrific execution there. Fire Ant put it all on the line. The all important third point. A win here would mean a guarantee. Three points to challenge for the Grand Championship of Japan. He's got to get past Frightman. He's got to roll him back in that ring. He's got to pin him, make him submit. Firing against all odds, so much against him. Now climbing to the top turnbuckle, maybe looking for that kick. Oh, high cross body, 86. Frightman able to roll off. Ooh. Big four. Found the mark. Second one's right on the money. Fire Ant's finally starting to hit his offensive stride. Nobody's going to break his stride. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Not even Matthew Wilder. No, no, he's got to keep on moving all the way to the corner. And now here comes Fire Ant. Oh, boy. Frightman got out of dodge. Ah. Look at this. Fire Ant changed directions on him. What a great way to disorient Frightman. Up oh, and around he goes. DDT. Bent him in half with that move, Bryce. Popped him on the top of the dome. Frightmare kicks out at two. Fire just so weird that it has to be the reason he did not hook the leg. Always won. One of the Wrestle Factory trainers. So great about all those pinning combinations. Just got him so tired. His back bothering you. And only able to cover for two as both these guys going back, having to go far deeper into their playbook. And I think even they expect you to have to go this afternoon at the hour of power. Fire Ant's got things going his way after that spectacular DDT. He needs just one key move here, I think. He's just one move away, but Frightmare will not allow it. If he was thinking Brain Buster, he won't get a chance to uncork it. Frightmare drags him right out. What's he got? Oh, look at that 
change of directions on the part of Fire Ant, who nailed that stunner out of nowhere. Burning down the house, and here comes Frightmare looking for that Yahtzee kick. Frightmare knows it's coming, has it well scouted, but did not see that kick coming, just blast him on the side of the head, and this could be it. He loves that brain buster, but he couldn't lift him up. And Frightmare doing even more damage to the back. Damage to the back coming in very handy. So much of Fire Ant's offense requires a base of the back. Turns him inside out and drives him. He's got a price. Whoa! Hanging two from Travis. 2.9 and Fire Ant kicks out on this one. Is going to continue. What a contest. Kicking away here. Back and forth action. These two guys really from the opening bell. Knee collapse, he found the mark in the kidneys. Oh boy, I am amazed. I tell you what, an ordinary competitor, a normal man, he would already have lost the match. He'd already been on his way to the hospital, and yet Fire Ant was able to kick out after that knee collapse to the back. Fire Ant digging so deep into the reserves. How bad, if you can see how bad he wants his third point, imagine how bad he will want the grand championship if he receives that opportunity. And now this half camel clutch style here, perhaps a choke, he's looking to put his knee in the back there, looking for a submission. Fire, not a good submission wrestler here. And an odd choice to go to there, but I guess just trying to wear down the back to the bottom rope, pulls him away, and now hooking it back on. Well, I don't doubt this exact strategy. There you go. Fire in. That's not enough to pin him. Wear him down even further and try it again. Fire trying to kick Frightmare away. Oh, he's winding up. Rewind. Came all the way back to the body scissor. He's got a brawn hold. Oh, look at this now. It's rolled in the favor of Frightmare. Once again, it's the back being targeted by Frightmare. Oh, he's going to go and try and wear him down again. He's loving this submission hold this afternoon. Let's see if it pays dividends for him. If Frightmare can get a submission victory, all of Fire Ant's points are lost. And that grand championship title shot goes up in smoke. This speaks to the importance of this encounter. Frightmare choosing now. He, he's gone so deep in this play, but forced to try submission maneuvers. Drop down. Looking for Nico Epsi again. No water in the pool. Here comes Fire Ant. Blast him with a Yachty kick. You're not kidding. He blasted him right upside the face. Can he make it work? He wants that brain buster. Whoa! He nailed it, Bryce. And Frightmare kicks out. Unbelievable. So close. Oh, Bryce. This looks like a beach break here. Oh, right. Finds a three count and he finds that third point. 